Well, Phoenix Theaters is set to transform the movie-going experience at Great Northern Mall, where the silver screens have been dark for far too long. With a dramatic $5 million investment, these cinematic saviors are rolling out the red carpet for a blockbuster revival. And in a time where malls have become relics of retail past, Great Northern stands tall and is one of the few to not only survive, but even thrive amidst the tides of change. As Mike Walsh, the mall's senior general manager, puts it. Everything is experiential nowadays. You know, it's about dwell time. It's about spending the time and staying here. You know, so how do you do that? And that's where we looked at, obviously, a theater with that experiential piece, that dwell time. When Great Northern Mall announced this exciting development, the buzz was palpable. Almost every local news network came out for the event, and here on Cleve 113, we even got an exclusive glimpse into the inside of the theater before the transformation begins. The event was a who's who of community enthusiasm, with North Olmsted Mayor Nicole Daly-Jones, local business owners, and even Bill Garvey, the president of the Greater Cleveland Film Commission, and so many more all in attendance to celebrate this revival. Phoenix Theaters, rising like its namesake from the remnants of Regal Cinemas, is set to kindle a new flame in the world of cinema. We're talking about cutting-edge Dolby Atmos sound, luxurious heated love seat style recliners, and a cinematic experience that's more than just a movie. And in these times of isolation and online shopping kicking over our consumer habits, the appeal of shared experiences is resurging. Great Northern and Phoenix Theaters are not just bringing movies back, they're reviving a community tradition, turning the spotlight back on the simple joy of a night out at the movies. You know, in this day and age, it's about the social gathering, getting people together. Um, you can't do that on Amazon. You can't do that online. Um, in North Olmsted, I'm Brooke Tamblin with Cleveland 13 News.